Eniola Badmos TV. Entertainment without bound. It is Eniola Badmos TV once again. And I am your home girl, Alexis. Guess what? We're actually here at the Terra Culture for the one night stand with MC Abbey. Guys, it's going to be so much fun. Trust us to bring to you our amazing content, the glitz, the glamour, and of course, the laughter, the high moments right here. Guys, it's about to get started once again. It's about that time for you to like, share, subscribe, and of course, be a part of the family right here on YouTube. Guys, it's about that time. So don't go anywhere because I'll be right back. And all time favorites. Just consciously, like I said, adjust to those changes. It was difficult to, because I didn't know why my wife would want my children to sleep beside us or my child to sleep in between us. And me, I always like to cuddle. So he said, No, let, let her just sleep. I said, Why now? So when they begin to sleep, don't sleep, don't they snore. And she said, Don't sleep. I will carry the baby out of the room. Go, go, go. I'll take the baby to the children's room. Drop her there. I will now come back. And cuddle my cuddle. Hello, it's my cuddle. You know, but you're like, no, no, let the babies. I said, no, these children they will live their own life. So all of all, what, what am I trying to say? Relationship is intentional. I'm not here to give you lectures, but just to give you some, just to set the ball rolling. It's going to be really, really interesting today. It's not vulgar, but it's uncensored. We'll talk about sex. We'll talk about a lot of things. We'll talk about relationship. Talk about money. You know, we talk about um, uh, investment. We talk about a lot of things that will that will really, really make sense to you all. All right. So let's get comfortable with some words. I always do this. Can you help me say these words? You know, and be comfortable when you say them. Somebody say, "Breast is good." No. <laughs> no, no, somebody say breast is good. I mean, even God, the Bible calls God the multi breasted God. As Jehovah El Shaddai. Not be so. He has many, many, many breasts, 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 breasts. When you say you are breast of the situation, you use this word over and over, right? Come on, say breast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you mean you cannot say breast now? You see, it ends from mouth. Something that you, you, you handle every day. Come, someone say breast. I'm not done yet though. It's only breast is very limited. It's very childish. I'm going to other part. And you have to say it. Hello? It's not. You, how much you did modern biology in school? Uh -huh. So this one is more than biology. That's what I'm doing right now. So get ready. Say it as it is. <laughs> say my. You're picking. Why you can't pick it? Come here. What's the concern you have with my picking there? True? Did I, did I say it's 18 plus? So why you got carry Piki coming? The Piki will learn good things today. My son saw me the other day, I was having my bath. He was like, ha, ah, daddy, ha, ah, look at your titty. I said, no, it's not titty, it's called penis. He said, what? I said, penis, say it. He said, penis, but it's big. I said, yes. Your own is small. If you carry the one I carry, it will weigh you down. <laughs> you need to grow up to handle what I have. Your own will grow. He said, you mean my tintini is called penis? I said, yes, your tintini is penis. So I told him not to be using the word tintini again or pencil. Before they will not come from school one day and say, daddy, daddy, somebody said I should give me pencil and I gave him pencil. Hey. I will not know what they are saying. I say, is there any eraser or sharpen anywhere? <laughs> so we, we, we teach our kids to say the right words. Penis is penis. So now somebody, everybody, just you say it. Say penis. penis. The way you are saying you are licking lips, my sister, I don't understand. Is it that you need to try to give you four penis, four penises? Say it again, say penis. penis. Brother, I see you. <laughs> I see you. Yeah, I know you've got penis too. 
Yes, he, he, he's, he's not Bob Risky now. That one does not have anyone. He does not have a game. We don't know if he has or if he does not have. He, he shim. Well, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know the shim if he has or whatever. But let's be comfortable with us. Now, the last one, not really the last, that I'm going to say, and you have to be comfortable with these words. Hello? See, guys, we do you work right now. There's this thing I did four years ago, and I will repeat it now. They say, I don't know how true this is, but they say allegedly that the, you can know the length of a man's penis just by looking at his hand from here to the longest finger. Now, men, don't fold your hand. Hello. If you are sitting next to a man, look at him. Just say, shake me. Say, shake me. Say, come on, shake me. Ah! Uncle, yeah! He gave me pictures. I never saw my my boss shake and say, ah. So <laughs> if that is true, I say it's a legend. I don't know. Uh, you can imagine. Show your neighbor your hand. Who is shaking? Who is shaking your hand? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. So I, I just imagine. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. Okay, forget it. <laughs> but it's not about the size, you know. It's not about the size. Hello. Uh, it's how you work it. You hear all those stuff when we when we at the bedroom talk segment. All right. So and they also say allegedly that now first of all, before I say this, I want all the men to look at the face or the faces of the women around them. Look at their faces because if I say this one now, you see they will now start changing their physical structure. They said allegedly. I don't know how true this is that the size of a woman's vagina is the size of her mouth. Somebody is pouting. Why are you pouting? Why are you pouting? When I told the woman, she said, like, mm. I said, why? This is not so the pop you. Not so the pop you. Why? Why are you not pouting? So, um, guys, you can look at the mouth of the woman and women look at the hands of the uh, madam. Why are you putting your mouth together? <laughs> like I said, I don't know how true it is, is right? but that's what they say. So guys, I have with me the beautiful Chino, so with the killer body, looking beautiful in burnt orange. I saw you walking and a lot of people just tilting towards your attention. Oh, wow. <laughs> did you notice? I didn't know. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how much do you enjoy the show? Oh my gosh, it was it was amazing. Uh, I'd say nine, in fact ten, and uh, nine because I, I wanted more small chops. I, I got two actually. I wanted more. It was really good. It was funny. It was hilarious. It was enlightening. It was, you know, um, very interesting. And I'm definitely looking forward to the next one. So lastly, we are in the season of love. So what's that thing that you've done for love? The craziest thing that you've done for love? That when you ran me, you're like, oh, I, I did this? You mean like this year or in life generally? Oh, I've done so many crazy things for love. I, I really don't even know where to begin. But yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't share right now. No, no, no. That crazy. Yeah, pretty much. Hello, Nigeria. Hello, Africa. My name is Chinonso Arubai. Keep watching Enyola Badmos TV. Bado! Because you want to please her, you say, Ah, I'm not going for her. Hello! Nabado! Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Ah, let me go and drink Martina. Let me go. You will not die. And when you die, your wife will move on. And when she moves on, oh, Terry, it don't finish. Do as your power reach you. If not one round, if you do, do it. If not two rounds, if you do, do it. It's not about the one or the two, it's how well you do it. Hello? And you have to get knowledge to be able to work it. Not like my people, like brothers and sisters of years ago that just got married. Hello, they got home. They could not do anything. Husband and wife, they said, okay, let, let us, let, let, no, let us uh, have a relationship. Guess what they did? They both knelt down. Father, Lord, what do you take us? Come and curse us, Lord. <laughs> Father, come and show us the way. They were praying. 
that they felt that it's the anointing that will just come upon them and suddenly baby will come. For months, the man knew that he was having some things down there, but he didn't know where to manifest it. The bad life of oh God. It was the pastor that now came to the house to draw their ears. Hey, okay, this is what you have. The rod of Moses, you used to divide the Red Sea. If you don't stretch it forth, the Red Sea will now open. And if the Red Sea open, enter. Begin to go. Begin to go. Begin to go. He had to use scriptural explanation for him to catch it. He said, ah, you mean I have the rod of Moses? He said, you have the rod of Moses. So please, Stretch it for what? So that the Red Sea will open. When they open, don't look at it to say, wow! 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 wow. No! Enter. Begin to go. Begin to go. Begin to go. Go! Until you reach the end. There is a promised land called Canaan. So guys, I have with me the chef herself. She was having a nice time, obviously, asking questions and banching with our, you know, to tell me on a scale of 1 to 10, how did you enjoy the show? 10. 10. Oh, wow. It was good. It wasn't just a regular comedy show. It was very interactive, so it was good. Yeah. Tell me, we're actually in the season of love, and one way or the other, we're falling in love. So tell me, what's the craziest thing that you've done for love? And when you think of, like, ah, Nami do this kind of thing, what's that thing you've done? Hmm... I don't want to say it. It's bad. bad? No, it's that bad. It's that bad. Please, let's leave it. Yes. Please, next time. <laughs>
Guys, Rosemary is here with us. So you're actually here for the one night stand with MC Abbey. Tell me, how much fun are you having? I had a lot of fun. Mm. Yes. You're supposed to rate the show over 10. Um, I give it a 7. seven. That's good. So lastly, tell me, we are in the season of love. And one way or the other, we're falling in love. What's that crazy thing you've done for love? I don't know. <laughs> you've not done or you cannot remember. I can't remember. I don't think I have done a lot. I don't, I don't think so. No, I haven't. I think about like, oh, Rosemary, I did this. I walked to a far place, walked all the way down a very long hill to deliver food. Wow, I was really brave. Yes, it was. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you very much, Rosemary. Thank you have an amazing too. night. Yes. Donald Trump, they, uh, 
Trump they do, my man will go return. My man will still in America. Oh my God, what did happen? They started telling me the story. Now my mother had gone to America, to my brother's house for Omugo, I'm Igbo. I she had gone there and then my brother has a 15 year old daughter. He's married to a white woman. So this girl didn't sleep at home, 15 year old. The father did not look for her, the mother did not look for her, they didn't check on that table, nowhere. This girl did not sleep at home, they left her. Till morning, this girl strolled in, weaved into the house. And the mother goes like, Keisha, where are you coming from? Said, oh, I tried to reach you, mom, I couldn't get you on the cell, so I put a message on the ashtray machine that I, I just dropped a message that, okay, 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 we, it's our fault, baby, we didn't, we didn't put on, we didn't play the ashtray machine. I'm gonna say, huh? They're not bitter. <laughs> you know, sleep for us till they break. They not be the beginning. Oh no. I'm off to work. She don't go. My brother. Keisha, don't do that next time. You can't get your mom, you call me. You don't go. They not be the beginning. Mama say, I'm gonna touch this girl to do. He go deal with her. From nowhere. I said, don't go, my mom called again. Keisha, come. Where you sleep last night? I know. Just talk to where you sleep, say. Zip it, old man. I want to rest. Mm. Mama said, Me, zip it. My mom left her. Went into the room, allowed her. She was sleeping, snoring. My mom went, carry Oja. Tie this or you won't begin. Tie and carry Koboko, begin flog the living day like that of this guy. As in the flog, and I never call police. As police see my mom, they do. Then they said, Drop your weapon. Mama looked the weapon. This not the weapon on that Dr. Dugudo. Now we tell the arrange the cookie, they do good. Say drop your weapon and they carry my mama. Guys, I have with me the machine or comedy machine, Odogu himself. One. There are not two of them. So you were actually okay with the answer you got in there. No, no, I'm not the okay. <laughs> What is the method of non of of not of of what is the method of lasting long? She already told you. Is that you read this time? <laughs> so that you get more in depth answer. Yes, it's mm -hmm. a, I don't want I don't want this. I want the true I want the true info. Let them teach us. I'm speaking the mind of many people. Men. Yes, okay. I'm speaking the mind of many people. Mm -hmm. All right. Teach us. Te teach them. All right. So lastly, tell me what's the craziest thing you've done for love? When you reason, I'm like. Ah, please, I'm like I went against my parents' wish. Wow. I went against it. And did he fail? Yeah, he did. And I married my own wife. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. I do have an amazing night. Thank you. And all time favorites. Excellencies and excellencies in the making Uwa, Idahosa is my name. I'm from the ancient city of Benin Kingdom, Wado, Wakoyo, Watokwe. He, he who wants to marry a widow, first of all, find out what killed the husband. If not, your call to glory is just around the corner. Amen. And now, um, wow. One night stand with MC Abbey. A lot of wala is happening outside there now. So a lady met me, say, please, where is the room? Where are we having the one night stand with MC Abbey? My friend, will you? Can't you, don't you understand? Because some people don't really know. They just had one night stand. Say, ah, MC Abbey is my crush. Ah, like, duh. I say, no, no door here. This is gates. You can't do that here. Pay your gate fee and enter. See, there was a young man, young boy, young. Now, now young man, that guy should be like 13 years old, small boy. But he came from a very wealthy family. A lady sued him to court that this young man impregnated him. And they took this matter to court and saw the lawyer carry this small boy. Because when they put this guy behind the dock, he was not as tall as this dog. They had to put him on top of a table. They put these boxers. The judge, I, I said the judge, the lawyer, his own lawyer, the defendant. Hold the thing for him, come and tell him. Are you trying to tell me that this small thing? Did you hear when the go just point and not point in the rubber? <laughs> he said, Are you trying to tell me that this small thing impregnated this big woman? Are you? Man, this small boy say, Oh, that not to rock this thing, we will lose this case. 
Because with you, the man might not know what I'm talking about. Hey, it's one night nice stand with MC. Now the beat talker now. So it's supposed to be for mature singles. And if you can understand this, you are not a child. Are you getting it? So, and you as young men, if you want to woo a lady, don't brag about your durability because the ladies of these days, they go to Jaroma and other things too. That was how a young man, a young man saw a young lady. He said, don't worry, I'll kill you. If I jam you, i mother! I shift your womb. I saw the dead came. And you see all this thing about Facebook relationship? It gives you the opportunity to show your idiotic self. And so he showed his idiotic self. Bracky saying all sorts of audio prowess. And so it was time for the robot to hit the road. And it was time. This man not come 10. You know that moment when you are on number 10 and you say, hey, go. See, and the baby now begins to say, you should, oh yeah, continue. And now this is the point. And she begins to, you know, lay emphasis and you know that no, you have come to the point of no return. <laughs> and in your head, you say, hey, God, what am I? You now begin to imagine some things that will take your emotions out of those things that can withdraw this thing. You now think about explosions, <laughs> fire outbreak, <laughs> she bought girls. And so finally, he counted 13. And so, when he was done, the girl said, Now, let us start. The guy shot. Start what? What have we been doing? What do you think about this show? Over, over nice. 10. It's not, I mean, 10 over 10, you know? Great comedy content. Uh, the whole bedroom discussion, you know? Talking about real issues that affect real people, everyday people. You know, um, even though we have our divergent views on various subjects, but we tend to meet at certain points, tend to agree um, over certain uh, points. And I believe that everybody here, uh, particularly those in marriages and relationships, would have learned a thing or two, uh, from the sexual side, from the financial side, uh, communication, especially, you know, I mean, a lot of people might be emphasizing on the sexual side, but the financial side is very key and can make or break a home, can make or break a relationship. I believe uh, people learned uh, a thing or two there, yeah. I also learned, but from the sexual side, yes, on how to scoop. <laughs> when I go home, I was, scoop me. Scoop me, man. <laughs> Squeeze the 
she did. She's coming back. Then uh, women strong. Women strong. You don't know like when the passengers are coming. Or they don't carry their feet at the scratch of back. They don't they come with that one. But men are useless. Must we shout? Must we shout? One of my friends that we want to wear. Ah! Ah! The way! Ah! The way! Ah! So guys, Miss Bayesa is with me for the Miss Body of Art Nigeria. What's your name? My name is Miss Blessing Family, Peter. Okay, so you're actually here for MCAB. How much fun are you having? A lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself in there. It was a good one. So we're actually in the season of love. What's that crazy thing you've done for love? Like, he's in my school fees to go visit my boyfriend. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> yes, I am. Your school fees? Yes, wow. actually really brave. <laughs> All right, thank you very much and they have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you don't say some women they did end up for front, some are behind. You know, yeah? If you don't say you end up for front, now see, what should be old, see as you go sleep. If you don't say you carry press, no sleep like this. You are covering the glory of God upon your life. If you don't say you get breath, sleep like this. Your husband will be here. If you want your husband to be at that night, shut the door as you say again, but you don't like this. Then I bring my hand. Don't they let it on, on, on. You're making what they do. Then nobody will mind. The man will touch you. But when you don't get here, you get here. Sleep like this. What is like this? Ah, 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 ah. There's no that man where he will touch you. But if you don't get here, you don't get here. You get like, see your sleeping position. Sleep like this. There's no body in my way. If you see lap, he must touch you. What? If you don't get here, you don't get here, you don't get here. You know your sleeping in position, sleep outside. <laughs>that swept the ladies off their feet with his vocal dexterity. He's really blessed. How you doing? I'm good, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so you. Tell me, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much did you enjoy the show? Yeah, honestly, like 10. Like, I really enjoyed it. It was good. We just kept going like that and like that. That was good. It was good. So lastly, tell me, what's the craziest thing you've done for love? Craziest thing. Craziest thing... Oh, I blessed child of my father did this. I'm a lover boy, so I don't know what's crazy. Like I, I go all the way. I've only dated one person in my whole life. You married? I'm not married. And it's been hard to love someone else again. So yeah. Alright. Okay. You have an amazing night. Thank you very much. The annoying one is when you begin to call Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hey, I'm coming. I mean, you are dying. Then the one that involves the Yoruba people, I don't understand what is what Suya. I know what Suya have done to Yoruba people. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I gave you. Ah, Miliki. Ah. <laughs> Oibo, Oibo will not mourn like that. Oibo will give you some nice money that will, that will motivate you to continue. Hello? You hear nice and like, ah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, we're gonna hear ah, oh yeah, ah, uh-huh. Mm, mm. You as a man you say, ah, I will kill you here today. You think that the man, but when you hear oh no, the love and you say, I'm not doing it again. I'm gonna put your hands together for put your promise of a book, keep it perfect, deep and three fall. I break the problem, leave my tip in the double tree. Biggity, biggity, bugger, 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 bugger,
not say, 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 if it is Kofi now, Kofi can be doing all, but me, I don't know the lyrics, so I just say my mind. Kofi can give you all the lyrical flows and all that. But that guy was good, bless him. This is how you make me feel. That's when you are tired. Everything that has a beginning short let's have an end. Guys, I cannot say how much fun we had. It was breathtaking, it was amazing, it was a lot of things. Educational, fun, the laughter, the highs. Guys, once again, my name is Alexis. Have you liked? Have you subscribed? Have you shared? You should. Guys, for you to get the best of content everywhere or anywhere, it is right here on Any Lab Badmos TV. So keep it locked down and keep coming for more. Guys, it's a bye for now. Enola Badmos TV Entertainment